So today I'm going to be showing you how to make two DIY Halloween decorations. They're both super cute and easy and hopefully you like it. Let's get started! The first one we're going to do is just this cute little pumpkin bat. To start off, you're going to need some black paper or cardstock, the bat wings template, which I'll put a link to in the description, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, a miniature pumpkin, a pair of googly eyes, I'm just using some medium sized ones, some black paint, a paintbrush, and some normal sized popsicle sticks. Okay, so I just started by laying some newspaper down because I don't want to paint on my table. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of paint onto the newspaper and paint the whole pumpkin black. You may need to do two coats of black paint because obviously the pumpkin is orange so it may show through so just to be safe you want to do two. Next you're going to grab your template, the paper, the scissors, and any dark colored marker or you can use chalk. Then you're going to pick from the template which wing you want to do. I'm just going to do this one because I think it's a little more spooky. Next you're just going to cut out the template. Okay, so now you just have your little back template and I'm going to take my black paper and I'm just going to trace it on with a marker. Next, you're going to fold the paper in half. It doesn't have to be exact, as you can see. <laughs> then you're going to cut out the wings. So now that you have your two wings, you're just going to grab the popsicle sticks and the hot glue gun. Flip the wings over so the back is facing you, and leaving a little room off the edge. I left a little too much room. Just glue the popsicle sticks to the wings. Cut the ends of the popsicle sticks diagonally so they make a point on the end. Now just shove it into the pumpkin in between the little bumps if you know what I mean. Do the same thing to the other side. I had to cut mine a little bit shorter because as I said I left a little too much room on the end. Oops. From a piece of black paper just cut from the bottom of the piece and cut out two little triangles. These are going to be the ears. Okay, so next you're going to grab your hot glue gun and the little googly eyes, and you're just going to figure out where you want to place the eyes before you do this, and just put a whole bunch of glue in one of those little grooves, and then just put on the eyes. It's pretty simple. Oh my gosh, we're at the last step. You're just going to find the line that you put the wings in, and then put a whole bunch of glue on the top part. And then just take the bottom part of the triangles and shove it in there. Yay, we finished the bat. Isn't it so cute? I'm dying. The second and last one we're going to do is just this cute little mummy jar. This one's a little simpler than the bat. You're just going to need a scissors, a jar or a candle, a hot glue gun, some googly eyes, and cheesecloth, depending on how big your jar is. I cut my cheesecloth into two strips, and I'm probably going to need more than this, but this is just a starting point. And it did roll up a little bit, so I'm just going to spread it all out. Lay the jar down on the table and put a line of glue on the bottom half. Now you're just going to very, very carefully press the cheesecloth against the hot glue, and it's obviously hot, so you don't want to leave your finger on it for long at all. Now I'm just going to take the strip and wrap it all around the jar until I run out. And once I get to the end, I'm just going to secure it with a dot of glue. And now just take as much more cheesecloth as you need and wrap it all around the candle until you cover it all up. But wait! Before you get to the end on the last strip of cheesecloth, halfway through, put on the little googly eyes. And then you're going to want to kind of cover it up a little bit so it looks like a little more mummified, you know. Finish wrapping it around and once again kind of cover up the top of the eyes with the cheesecloth. And it should kind of stay, but I just secured it with some glue anyway. And now you have your finished product. It's so cute, right? Oh, and make sure if you're using a candle, do not 
light the candle. I haven't tried this, but I'm pretty sure that the cheesecloth is going to light on fire, so don't light the candle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this DIY tutorial. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to make, any decorations or anything else like that. Bye, guys! You like him? No. 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 Who's playing the piano? Easy to make, and hopefully you like it. Bye. No, not bye. Let's get started. Find the off button. <laughs> Don't light the candle. Don't light the candle. Don't light the candle. Cause you might light your house on fire. Oh. Okay, so next you're just gonna grab your hot glue gun and your eyes. Not your eyes, the eyes.